tonight at 630, showing a Jeep driving recklessly on the shoreline on Fort Myers Beach. Tonight, ABC 7's Muhammad Abdul Kawi is getting us more on why this is not only illegal, but dangerous. Jeep is about to stun the entire EV market with a new technology that is miles better than the battery EV technology. Speculations are that what Jeep is about to unleash on the car market will excite gas engine car owners and could end the EV momentum. Is this just hype or the real deal? Stay tuned. You want to make sure to catch all of this news. In the race to redefine transportation, Stellantis has emerged as a game changer with its innovative compressed air engine technology. As the world pivots towards sustainable energy solutions, electric vehicles, EVs, have dominated the conversation. However, Stellantis' latest development could potentially outperform EVs, marking a significant shift in the automotive industry. Stellantis, which is the parent company of Jeep, will most likely put this engine in the Jeep models, such as the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. At this point, you are probably asking, what is so special about this engine? Stellantis's compressed air engine, part of their Hurricane Twin Turbo I6 engine family, promises to cut emissions, increase fuel economy, and deliver more power. Unlike traditional internal combustion engines, this new powertrain uses compressed air to enhance performance, enabling advanced ignition timing and better management of in-cylinder temperatures. The result is a robust, flat torque band that maintains peak performance across a wide RPM range. If all this is confusing, let me spell it out. All this means is that this engine could beat the EV industry when launched. It is the best of both worlds, giving the best features of IC engines and almost zero emissions of EVs. So yes, of course, it's a bump in the road. Uh, I hope it's a short term hurdle that we will be all uh, able to overcome. Uh, and Stellantis is now full speed ahead uh, with all the electric vehicles, starting with the new uh, Jeep Avenger, the first pure EV Jeep. We are very excited. The product is awesome. The product is absolutely outstanding in terms of performance. Let me show you why everyone will love this engine. While EVs are celebrated for their zero emission capabilities, they face challenges such as battery life, charging infrastructure, and raw material scarcity. Stellantis's compressed air engine addresses these issues by offering a more efficient and powerful alternative that doesn't rely on large batteries or extensive charging networks. Moreover, the engine's design ensures a reduction in greenhouse gases, aligning with Stellantis' commitment to a net carbon zero future by 2038. This technology will work with any IC engine model. Can you guess why? The true potential of Stellantis's technology lies in its versatility. It can be integrated into existing vehicle platforms without the need for extensive redesigns, allowing for quicker adoption and scalability. Additionally, the technology offers a solution for regions where EV infrastructure is lacking, providing a more accessible path to reducing emissions and improving air quality. One thing every car company is battling to improve is range. The range of the compressed air engine is unbelievable. See how it overtakes every EV. The hybrid air powertrain promises an impossible range of 120 miles on a single gallon. This is huge as each vehicle may come with a tank that holds at least 10 gallons, which puts the range of the vehicle beyond 1,000 miles. A slap in the face of lithium ion batteries the auto industry trembled and politicians squirmed. One of the main concerns for many potential EV drivers are batteries running out of charge. After all, they had invested billions in EV infrastructure. If that does not impress you, I don't know what will. The name of this amazing engine says it all. Stellantis calls it the Hurricane engine. Even though at its core, the engine is a 3.0 liter, twin turbo, inline six cylinder powerhouse, it is designed to slot into vehicles that traditionally house V6 or V8 engines. Now let me explain how it works. You will realize just how brilliant it is. What sets the Hurricane apart is its dual air compressors, akin to twin turbochargers, each dedicated to three cylinders, ensuring an even distribution of compressed air for optimal combustion. 
This system is bolstered by a 2L compressed air engine, complete with its own tanks, working in harmony with a hydraulic system to boost performance. Performance-wise, the Hurricane engine is a beast. It comes in two variants, a standard output that churns out at least 400 horsepower and a high output version that roars with at least 500 horsepower. These are the top numbers when we talk about horsepower. The engine is a lot more powerful than most IC vehicles in the market. You will think this makes the engine complicated, right? Well, wrong. Despite its power, it's engineered to be up to 15% more efficient than larger engines, aligning with Stellantis environmental goals by meeting stringent emissions regulations. But the disruption may cause some problems. Not everyone is happy about the development of this engine. Washington and a major announcement today affecting the future of the auto industry. The Biden administration is proposing strict new pollution rules that could dramatically ramp up the transition to electric vehicles. Politicians pushing the EV agenda will not like this. Why? Because the hurricane's CO2 emissions were a mere whisper, 99% lower than traditional combustion engines. Suddenly, the EV narrative wavered. The hurricane engine wasn't just an alternative. It was a lifeline for those who didn't want to plug in. But do you know the interesting thing about the Hurricane? This engine is not anti-EV. It is pro-choice. This is giving the market the power to choose what technology drives their vehicle. In recent times, Americans have had to push back against the EV agenda. They are saying, do not force EVs on us. Instead, allow the consumer to choose what to buy. The Biden administration refused to listen and is demanding that by 2030, all cars sold in the U.S. are EVs. This is simply ridiculous. It has been very frustrating for everyone, including the car manufacturers. It is not a free market. It is a forced one in which politicians are more interested in their agenda than doing what is sensible. You cannot force EVs on the entire nation in just about 10 years. The market is far from being ready for EVs. Right now, it seems the EV agenda is failing. Check this out. Imagine the lots of these dealerships, once brimming with the latest internal combustion engine, ICE models, now interspersed with sleek, silent EVs. Yet these symbols of progress stand still, unsold and accumulating dust. Dealers claim that despite the allure of zero emissions and the promise of a cleaner future, the American consumer isn't ready to make the switch. In a bold move, nearly 4,000 dealers have penned an open letter to President Biden urging a slowdown in the aggressive rollout of EVs. They argue that the supply of unsold battery electric vehicles, BEVs, is surging, outpacing customer demand even amidst deep price cuts and generous government incentives. The letter paints a picture of hope turned to hesitation, of early enthusiasm giving way to a market reality check. Today, regulators in California are expected to approve new rules that will ultimately ban the sale of gas-powered cars in the state by 2035. This is really important for reducing uh, climate changing emissions. I mean, simply put, we can't address climate change. What has this got to do with the compression engine? Everything. Finally, Americans can have a choice that is equally cleaner, but preserving the qualities of gas-powered engines. The dealer's narrative is one of a mismatch between regulatory ambitions and consumer readiness. They cite the higher upfront costs, concerns over charging infrastructure, and the practicality of EVs in daily life as significant barriers. The once hot Ford F-150 Lightning, for example, saw its list of eager buyers dwindle, leaving dealers with a surplus they struggle to sell. All these will change. Let me tell you why. The new compressed air engine from Jeep is an engine that can fit into most engine bays. We do not need to even buy a new vehicle. People can simply convert their old cars to meet the emissions regulations. As the world watches this standoff between tradition and transformation, one thing is clear. The road to an all-electric future is not looking as good as promised. And if you are saying EVs are not that bad, you need to look at the facts. For one, the technology is far from being perfect. Did I hear you whisper something about EV fires? Because that is a real problem we are yet to solve. Electric vehicles are going up in flames. 
and I am talking about electrical and chemical-induced fires that are very hard to extinguish. The chemical process of batteries can be explosive, and it does not take much to start a fire with them. Talking about batteries, there is another downside they add to EVs. Sawinski was thrilled to get an electric 2014 Ford Focus. And it was fine at first. I loved it so much. It was like small and quiet. And just the like car had 60,000 miles it. on it. All of a sudden, it just stopped working. Avery says she had it for six months before the battery died. Electric vehicles and their batteries represent a significant portion of the vehicle's total cost with the average cost of an EV battery ranging between 30% and 57% of the vehicle's total value. The price of a new lithium-ion battery pack can be as high as $25,000, influenced by factors like raw material costs, production expenses, and supply chain stability. Replacing an EV battery can run from $5,000 to $20,000, depending on the battery size and manufacturer. This is no joke for those who found themselves in a situation where they needed to change their EV's battery. This is where the magic of Jeep's new engine comes in. Just imagine what it would be like driving on nothing but air. No pollution, no heavy battery packs, and no expensive resources need to be mined for it to work. This is the magic of the compressed air engine. This technology aims to provide a more cost-effective and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional EVs potentially reducing the overall cost of vehicle ownership and addressing the high costs associated with EV batteries. Stellantis' approach could significantly impact the electric vehicle market by offering a viable alternative that circumvents the need for expensive battery systems. Let's talk a bit more about the market impact. Jeep's CEO has made bold claims that this engine will revolutionize the market and pose a significant threat to electric vehicle makers. The engine is said to be so advanced that it could disrupt the current trajectory towards all electric futures. One of the most touted benefits of this technology is its potential to maintain combustion cars on the road without worrying about emissions. It's claimed to offer fuel efficiency of 120 miles per gallon while reducing nearly 99% of current tailpipe emissions. Jeep is also exploring hybrid air technology, which could replace bulky batteries with compressed air, offering a cost-effective, easier to implement, and design-flexible alternative to typical hybrid cars. These developments suggest that Jeep is aiming to provide a sustainable alternative to both traditional combustion engines and electric vehicles, though the full details and feasibility of this technology are yet to be seen in practice. In conclusion, Jeep's technology particularly with the advancements made by Stellantis, offers a compelling alternative to traditional electric vehicles, EVs. While EVs are generally praised for their low emissions and potential for sustainability, they are often criticized for their high upfront costs, mainly due to expensive batteries and concerns about range and charging infrastructure. Jeep's approach, which includes the development of the Hurricane Compressed Air Engine, addresses these concerns by offering a more affordable and environmentally friendly solution that could reduce the total cost of ownership. Moreover, Jeep's technology is not just about cost savings. It's also about maintaining the brand's legacy of rugged off-road capability while embracing the future of electrification. This balance of tradition and innovation positions Jeep's technology favorably against conventional EVs, especially for consumers who value both performance and sustainability. Therefore, for those looking for an electrified vehicle that promises adventure without compromising on environmental responsibility, Jeep's technology, with its strategic direction and innovative solutions, may indeed hold an edge over traditional EVs. This is not all. We have more intriguing takes on technologies that may disrupt the EV hype. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it.